You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thank you, Marshall. Creating a platform for artists. You know what? I started talking about, uh, you know, artists controlling their uh, product and everything. And, you know, I talked about some of these uh, forms or platforms that provide an outlet for artists, you know, stuff like Spotify or even YouTube. You know, if you really look at YouTube, they actually got to where they are by just really providing a platform. They didn't have the original programming. Shoot, in fact, that's mainly a lot a business model of a lot of things. I mean, even though some, like Amazon, Amazon got to where they were by just selling other people's stuff, you know? And I'm thinking, hey, you know, that might be a good business, you know? And that's something I look into. I don't, I don't I look into it, you know, when I get a free time, you know, when I get that free 15 minutes. I gotta laugh about that when I get that free fifteen minutes because I trust me, I'm one of those dudes always got something. I mean, I either talking with somebody, coaching, working on a video pro- product, or you know, making love to some nice woman. Something I'm doing something all the time. <laughs> but you know, I've actually been looking into that, maybe developing some type of platform, video platform, or something for artists. I mean, you know, I would just, like, say if I did videos or something, like, one of the things I'm thinking about is providing um, maybe a video platform where it's a a subscription, and I would just give, I would give people a cut, you know, maybe steady, maybe based off views, something like that, but I would give them a cut off of something, I'd give them a cut off of whatever, out of that subscription, you know, of course, I keep a lot of it. Because I'm providing a platform, something, and that's that's just an idea. That's that's one of those things I need to really research. When you on that level, when you're dealing with the payout of so much money and stuff, it can't just be like a one man operation. So that that's something I got to build up. But I'm like really looking into that, you know, just to provide it. Because the thing about a lot of artists, yeah, we have this trend towards artists you know, doing their own thing. They're not signing with major labels, but really marketing is a different beast from just creating. Like I knew this, I met this one, right? He was a, he was an interesting guy, quiet guy, real, like a legitimately nice guy, right? Just legitimately, he was legitimately nice. He was like one of those dudes, he was so nice. He makes you realize how jacked up the world, rest of the world is. (laughs) <laughs> Seriously, he's just—he's he's like what it was like, just generally good-hearted dudes and whatnot, right? You just like, dang, this is a messed-up world. <laughs> you, you be looking at yourself in the mirror like, dang, I ain't as, I ain't the good person I thought I was. <laughs> but he wasn't good at marketing his own stuff. So you know, he carried. He had to do. He do book signs. He had to do with him whose job was to hype people up and get them to buy his book, right? <laughs> Uh, that was an interesting pair but the thing is with a lot of artists I mean their focus is mainly on you know creating their art you know and you know they might get a manager or something get them some gigs and everything but you know a platform they could really use a platform like a lot of musicians uh, content creators like content is king nowadays Oh, all those people with smartphones and tablets, computers, you know, the few that are still being sold. <laughs> you know, people need content for all of this. <laughs> so, you know, maybe a person who, you know, somebody might have great content but not know how to get followers. Not know how to do something. Because they, even on YouTube, yeah, there's a lot of great content that... Because they might not say something controversial or they might not have that much charisma. Something. Only a few few people actually watch their videos. They don't get a big following. Right? 
but you know maybe you put put them on a platform or something that the platform advertises because you get some platforms they advertise and they say hey check it out and you know they hit up people and everything they get people to come and they get people to pay and everything you know that could be i think that's and that's that's something if somebody can do it because you get some people they know how to organize like that and all you need really with that like that's something actually i could do right now on my uh, vmo platform you know just have i can put up anybody's videos anybody's videos and it might end up doing that i'm look i'm looking into that i'm looking into that maybe a subscription or something you know when uh because they might get to the point when YouTube is just like, I'm be like, eh, time for me to move on to something else. You know, and I'll just be like, you know, instead of like trying to get this AdSense money, just offer some subscriptions. I was like, boom, you can actually make a lot of money. You know, if, you know, if a person can get like 20,000 subs on, uh, on YouTube, surely they can get about 500 or something on some private platform, you know. So that's an, that's an important piece right there, you know. That's an important piece. It's like, but a platform for artists, and I, I know some people were trying to do it before the technology we had in place. I know a, a young woman who was wanted to do something for writers to get their stuff out there, which I thought was cool. You know, but that could be anything or, you know, a platform for ebooks. You actually have some platforms for ebooks. Only thing is, it would have to be like if I did ebooks or something, it would have to be some way to encrypt the ebooks. Like Amazon has a good system, which is why I deal with ebooks through them. Because I actually did ebooks a while ago. Like, you know, it was just, you know, you, you can put something in a PDF easy, it's just like a simple click. And I remember I did that one time and I sold, you know, I would, you know, offer the ebook. I would, you know, and I remember I sold it to this one, a few people, right? But then I had somebody with a totally different email, like, that's a great thing. And I was like, uh, where'd you get this? Oh, yeah, a friend of mine sent this to me. It's like, okay. You know, the problem with that was once you give it free, it, it, it goes around the internet. You can get a million people looking at it and you don't even get it. Like, if I was to do free ebooks like that, it wouldn't be something long. It'd be all basically a pamphlet with the express purpose of marketing. But a major bug, nah. Unless I can have some good encryption technology or something like that. That costs some money. But for those with the time and the resources, that's something to look into. You know, music, something. So, I don't mean, even um, a host for that. I'm quite sure, you know, if I really want to, you know, VMO is such a host, you probably got some other host. Uh, in fact, I know there's some other hosts for stuff like that. You can actually make money just being a host. So this is a lot out there. It's a, it's a whole lot of possibilities out there because you don't always have to be the artist person. Sometimes just being the marketer, the facilitator or something. Because that's really all the uh, publishing companies and music labels were doing anyway. They were just getting the stuff out. But they were taking a bigger cut than they needed to cut, take. You know, my thing is the artist should get most of the cut. You know, that's a better deal for them. And then after that, you know, maybe just provide the platform for them. You know, you can even expand in some ways and... Uh, you know, say, hey, you know what? We can set up concerts and everything for you. Well, I mean, it's so much. It's so much. And in fact, uh, that's even a business idea, just uh, facilitating stuff. You know, I like how I do this because, you know, I always come up with more stuff. <laughs> you know, I always come up with more stuff. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, so that's something to think about. That's something to think about because the thing with just business in general, ultimately, it's about service. It's providing a service or a product, one or the other. You know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, they know their little thing and they got their little thing, uh, you know, like with the writer who brought his boy along to like hype him. You know, that's, you know, everybody don't, everybody isn't well facet where they can do every little thing. 
And sometimes you can provide the service of saying, okay, well, you know, I'll be the manager or something like that. And people are already doing that. Like, you get smokes, spokes models and stuff like that. So, anyway, that's it for today. Let's go make that money.